Nigeria plans to work with the U.S. and Interpol to address issues that led to visa restrictions by Washington. It's one of six countries affected. Citing security concerns, the Department of Homeland Security said it will suspend visas that can lead to permanent residency for people from Eritrea, Kyrgyzstan, Myanmar and Nigeria. Sudan and Tanzania will also stop receiving diversity visas that award green cards to countries with low immigration numbers to the U.S. Gabriel Alizondo has more on the Homeland Security announcement from Washington, D.C. Well, administration officials are saying that, in their words, it's not a travel ban. They're saying it's just travel restrictions and only applies, in theory at least, they say, to a certain group of people that want to come to the United States. And it would be uh, citizens of these six countries. But they say it would only apply to immigrant visas for people that, from those countries that wanted to move to the United States. Administration officials are quick to point out that it will not apply, they say, to uh, people that are applying for student visas or work visas. They also say it will not affect any of the citizens currently in the United States from these six countries that are legally here on valid visas. They're saying it simply will only affect those that are applying for new visas to immigrate to the United States. But that still potentially is a lot of people, thousands of people, potentially any people from these six countries that uh, will be applying from here on out uh, for immigrant visas to the United States, with a few exceptions, will have those uh, visas denied. Now, administration officials are saying they're trying to avoid uh, the situation of 2017 and that so-called uh, Muslim ban on those uh, seven predominantly Muslim uh, countries where they were coming to the United States to airports, being detained, held, sent back to their countries. It's had all sorts of confusion and heartache for many families. Uh, the D Department, of J uh, Department of Homeland Security is saying they're specifically trying to avoid that by making this a little bit more clear. However, the big question is when this goes into effect, which is February 22nd, how will it actually play out at airports in reality? And that's a big question that we'll have to wait and see.